The host of Xerxes, which by fame is said to drink the mighty Parthian Araris, was but a handful to that we will have. Our quivering lances shaking in the air, and bullets like Jove's dreadful thunderbolts, enrolled in flames and fiery smouldering mists, shall threat the gods more than Cyclopean wars. And with our sunbright armour as we march, we'll chase the stars from heaven and dim their eyes that stand and muse at our admired arms. Alright, welcome back to Watch Pocket Gaming and Tamburlaine the Great. I realise on the first couple of videos, my... Uh, my voice was a bit quiet compared to the sound of the game volume, so I've tweaked it a bit. It's possible I've, I might have gone too far in the opposite direction, but probably better than the alternative. So let's see, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm at war with this guy. And I'm at war with the Golden Horde just to take this county, and I'm invading the entirety of Georgia. Don't think there's anything else I really need to be particularly aware of. Um, right, the titles all fine. I suppose I could do this now, may as well. Important decisions to take. Uh, I think I'm writing a book. The plots probably don't matter. Okay. Okay, and I've just won that war. means that these armies can head up to uh, let's just send them well let's just send them to here. I think I've already got armies going into yeah. I'll do supply limit 1k. That's uh severe depopulation, okay. Well, that could be interesting. Oh no, wait! I just remembered. My events want troops. Don't take attrition from being over the supply limit. It's kind of ridiculous, but... Got it, and may as well take advantage. Quick trade post. Keep upgrading that. And yet, there's the defensive pact. But it's too late. Probably should have changed the message settings on that. Okay, do I want to divide up my forces to siege faster? It would make sense, though it's not super important, so I might be a bit lazy about it. Just keep the matter stacked together. Hang on. Oh. These troops are taking attrition. So... Although, no, wait. But it says, hang on. Total troops in county 1.3k. When I can see that it's 5.5k. Um, I'm a bit confused by this. But let's just keep an eye on that. Yeah, we are taking some attrition, but it's 
is it like wait someone's sieging me oh Georgia has an army so um, let's see we actually have quite a bit of heavy infantry in here. So let's do that. So yeah, do I have any troops in here that are not defense spawned? Is that maybe what's making the difference? I mean, I don't have any levies raised, so no, everything must be event spawned. Okay, and I'm, I may just keep these troop. Actually, let's send these ones through to here. And just keep these hanging around in case a Golden Horde army turns up to be fought. And I need to be leading this siege again. Okay, so I need to duel someone for the Warrior Lodge. I will need to be at peace to do that. Um, hmm. Okay, and wow, that was uh, less decisive than I was expecting. But we, I mean, we won, but actually took similar losses with troops. Okay, so I'm already at 93% on this. So, probably just like one or two more sieges and I'll have it. Someone just died there. My acquaintance. person I need to... Oh, the Queen of Trebizond. Hmm. Being in the defensive pack will probably not save her. I am not at 100% yet, so... Wait for another siege. Uh, oh, jeez. No, wait. The, 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 okay, so the event says large numbers of defenders of Clargetti have succumbed to starvation, but I lost 5,000 troops. Um, uh, I do not care. It's only 5 prestige. Uh, oh yes, b between episodes I switched to I was swearing to my spy master because she didn't like me. Um, which would not be great since she's my spy master and my concubine. Of course, she doesn't like me so much because of because she's a woman and I'm a man, and so attraction to club-footed and attraction to disfigured are a thing. So yeah, let's ask my concubine to spend some time with me, because I'm sure that's not something she's been doing otherwise. Okay, so... How? 
Oh, because this is... Because this is not actually in Georgia. Okay, and... I have some prisoners that I've been ignoring. And it looks like... We have an independence faction. That I'm not super bothered about. And... Yeah, so I have bit of a domain size issue here. I can make a bunch of titles. But okay, so let's see. I do not need to hold this land. Pretty happy just holding onto the land over here. Don't, yeah, I currently have this. So I could create the Duchy of Tabaristan, or I could just... Hang on, who holds this land? Yeah, so... Oh. Oh, hmm. This guy's descended from Sassan Sassanid. So, okay, sure. I can, I can probably always sort this out later. So yeah, I don't need that county. It's in the Silk Road, but that, it's not that important. Um, and then, realistically, I want to give out these lands to. Probably you know, my marshal would be a good choice. So, what are these counties? Uh, Imeretia, Mushketa, Tiflis. Yeah, okay. Are they all in the same duchy? They are. So, uh, did I get soft holdings? No. So, yeah, right here. Because I, I, I don't really want to. I mean, I could create the duchy, but I'm not efficiently bothered about it. Uh, oh, much, much get. I am not really sure how to pronounce that, but okay. Uh, so that's all fine. Still just waiting on this. Where are his armies? Let's see. Temportage, maybe? Obviously, these guys could be leading their own armies, especially the the Khans, but why does he have troops in Africa? Is oh right, because of the Catholic Crusade for Egypt. Sure. Okay, so threats up to sixty-seven point six percent. How does the pact look? Ooh, not that big yet. So let's see, I could certainly go for Trebizond. Go for this guy. I can't take um 
also this guy's count. His liege is also a count. Who does not have something weird is going on there. Was this guy I guess this guy used to be the king and it hasn't updated properly yet. Yeah, okay. So yeah, and that means it won't let me declare war because it hasn't yet registered that these guys are independent. Uh, in any case, I can't take Lori because I have troops standing in it already. But I can certainly go for the others. And okay, hound. So let me remember the rules on threat: over fifty percent all defensive packs and other religious groups band together if you attack one of them. But not of my own religious group. But I am, since I am pagan, that does not apply. If I could, I guess if I could re just really quickly become Muslim, then I could attack Trebizond and uh, whatever the Eretnids. Uh, it's a titular title, so I guess not an actual De Jure kingdom. Um, yeah. So if I was, <coughs> if I was the same religion as one of these two, then I could attack them both, but as it is, I will attack one and the other will come to the defense because of the defensive pact. That's fine. So, oh wait, what? Why do I not have an invasion? I mean, in that case... Hmm. So, De Jure Kingdoms. Maybe because he doesn't have... Because, like, he... I border him on this county in Trebizond, but that's only one county. I don't know what the exact rules are, but... Uh, I can do the invasion of Trebizond here. So that should be fine. And, uh, the... Defensive Pact is really not a threat yet, so who is the Savoid? Ah, oh, okay. 1.6k troops to keep an eye out for Eretnid and Shabazid Zabulistan. This guy. I guess that's another use for having these troops hanging around. They can keep an eye on the enemies at my back, because that is the one real potential issue with um, with having the defensive pact that I will potentially have enemies on all sides and it's hard to keep track of them all. So let's go uh, finally talk in private with my concubine. And okay, so people joining the defensive pack doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's see. I guess she's my spy master as well as my concubine. I was gonna say, like, I hope I take, haven't taken you away from any important work. If she's my concubine, surely I am her important work, but spy master, sure. Uh, right, so has this up. This is now updated. Here. Okay. All 
and loads more people into the defensive pact, but too late to too late for them to join in on this current war. So I could go stomp this army, but I could eat. this guy only has one county, so I can equally just uh, okay, and I can't declare war on this guy because he's already in war with Annie. you how to deal with your enemies. Okay. Still nothing over there. is fine, that, that army is not big enough to threaten me, so they're not going to come in and fight me, and I can just keep sieging. Wait. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, okay, lots of people joined the defensive pact. I have some prisoners. All of that is fine. Conversions, yeah. Uh, ransom for prisoners. My misdeeds are told loud to Cathay and Oh Count of Lori has peacefully agreed to become a tributary of China. Given that he only has one county, that's still not gonna save him. Because I can just siege him down really quickly before the Chinese can do anything about it. Um, party of soldiers find the band of chiefs. Is Ad Din Hussein the third? Oh! Oh yeah, this is because I'm on the, the rulership focus, isn't it? When can I change? August next year. So, sure, I'll, I'll pay for myself. Oh, yep, yeah. the extra stewardship is nice to have. And, yep, yeah, I don't care about that. Um, Loads of notifications popping up, and... This, uh... Yep. So, I shall... Give away these, and then... Uh, upgrade. Trade post again. And I guess I can hold on to that one county. So that's fine. Um, okay, so while, you know, obviously I stand by 
actually in no, let's put them into here because I'm declaring this war right now. Take a little while. This, all oh right, that is the Lori army. So, yeah, this is all fine. I'm at 28% against Trebizond, and I'm still paused. Need to pay attention to these things. Oh, okay, yeah, so I guess that's like the extra armies that they get from China just spawn in. I've never attacked a Chinese tributary before. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do this county but then once I'm done with it, I should just go fight that army. And what? Okay, yeah. So Genoa sees that sea at some point. More sieges that I don't really care about. Um, got a hundred percent here. Okay, and this one. Okay, so. Yeah, Capici, Daritai, and Dodai. I don't want to go around and fight the army, because that'll get me a ton of war score for just wiping out the whole thing. This continues to take up. deal with their enemies. Gain some technology points. Could go wipe this out and take that back. Wait, what? Get to run away from me. And uh, grab myself in here. Only twenty five per cent. So, okay. How much am I losing from the stuff I've lost? Uh, 8, 13, 16, or 17% maybe. So you go here, I guess I can probably take this back pretty quickly. I will send an army down to deal with this.
Oh, I should declare the one. Cleat. Well, that will trigger the now much bigger defensive pact, so. Just consider it carefully. And this is slow for how much I outnumber it. Um, someone is an apostate. Sure. So, let me just check powerful vassals that I now have. Yeah, that's a thing. I might want to think about doing something with those. I mean, if nothing else, these two actually would be good commanders. You know, it won't totally take away those opinion penalties, but it'll do something. And so, obviously, like in all these cases, I could be assaulting holdings, but in general, because you know, my I'm being sort of wary with my event spawn troops because once they're gone, they don't come back. Unlike levies, children liberation revolt. That's Annoying, and I probably should have been. Probably should have checked revolt risk. Yeah, that revolt risk is really bad. Uh, come here. Why is it so bad? Religious unrest and heretic stronghold. Yeah, that could be a thing. I guess since I'm here, I'll fight this army, but then I'll have to go deal with that revolt. And... See where it is, the keenest Kirtalax that e'er made passage through Persian arms. These are the wings shall make it fly as swift as doth the lightning or the breath of heaven, and kill as sure as it swiftly flies. Thank you. 